Um, sure. Uh, obviously, uh, great to start the 2019 season and uh, very proud of the guys. Um, you know, kind of, uh, you know, kind of what we expected, a real good Bucknell team got on the board first and had to fight and scrap. Um, wasn't pretty, uh, but proud of the effort, proud of our guys, uh, the energy, the leadership. Um, proud of a lot of the young guys that got their first opportunity. So total team win, and um, certainly I think we grew from the experience, but even the preparation, getting ready, I thought we really improved this week. Questions? Yeah, Coach, uh, how do you, what were your concerns going into the game with basically so many new guys in the starting lineup? And were you happy with the, you know, Logan played great, Corley played great, but some of the new guys, how did they do? Um, I think as a coach, you always have uh, things that you want to make sure that you, that you focus on. Um, but I had a lot of confidence in this group, um, you know, just because of the way they've approached things, uh, the leadership that we have. Um, you know, I think like most coaches, you have concerns about, you know, did we cover enough? Did we prep them hard enough? Um, but I think these guys were ready. Um, the guys that, you know, maybe hadn't been household names, they've been working really hard since August. So uh, we really felt like when they got the opportunity, uh, they were going to make the most of it. You talked a lot about depth in the preseason. How good was it to see, you know, some of those depth guys step up when Jared was kind of held in check in the first half? Yeah, I mean, his first goal of the year is, is, is Christian Zawadzki, um, you know, a senior fifth-year guy. It's battled some injuries, and uh, I couldn't be more excited for him. I know the team. I, I speak for them, and they're super excited um, for him to step in with that confidence. Um, you know, that's kind of what we're hoping for is, you know, when they put too much uh, emphasis on some of our veteran guys like a Bubba or Logan or Jared, um, I think we have a lot of other capable guys like he and Louis Dubik um, that really can do some damage. NPS Nonprofit Services has the technology and know how to achieve your nonprofit goals. We have all the tools that you need for your nonprofit to be successful, including tech support, consulting, development strategies, and business continuity to make sure your data is safe on prem or in the cloud anywhere all the time. Call NPS at 877 797 8776. We're easy to reach and easy to work with. Um, I thought Danny uh, gave us uh, everything we could have asked for in his first start and more. Uh, I think he got better as the game went on. Uh, I thought he made some good decisions in the clearing game. Um, certainly some things to improve upon, but uh, for a fifth year guy to step in um, and, and really get 11 saves and have 10 in one half, uh, to me just speaks to his prep and how hard he's worked and uh, all the extra effort he puts in after uh, practice every day. Oh, yeah. Uh, how much did the uh, weather or the cold in general sort of have an impact on your guys' game today? I don't think at all. I think the guys, you know, you can ask them, but it was a beautiful day. It's, it's been kind of hit or miss uh, lately, but this is one of the nicer days we've had. There's a lot of sunshine, wasn't too much wind. Uh, you know, for this time of year, I, I think we take this every day of the week. There you go. Uh, Logan, uh, how did the clock affect the offensive setup and play? Obviously, you've planned for it, but it looked like we got quite a, few, a couple goals right at the end of the clock. I mean, what was the plans? Yeah, I feel like the clock wasn't too much of a factor for us. Uh, we did a good job like uh, in our base set, like the 3-1-2, and just like moving the ball, making sure like the ball keeps going, not throwing it back, making sure we're dodging, moving our feet, and just hitting the open man on the backside. And once the clock comes down, like, Making uh, being able to make the play and step up was that offense. was that play that the Maya sent to you? Is that one you worked on at all? Because that was something special. Um, I mean, I was just kind of cutting down to the crease. It was like it was like a delta situation. So just kind of making the most out of our opportunities there. Logan, with so many new faces in the lineup, did you feel it sort of incumbent upon you to make the offense? I mean, no, it's it's not on anyone. It's not on me. It's not on Jared. I mean. It's really not on anyone. Uh, we play as, it's six on six for a reason, you know. We play as a group, play as one unit. And uh, it's like on, I guess, Lewis took like the reins and uh, now he's like communicating to us. Like he's making sure like we know what we're in, like what we're doing and making sure we're executing. Uh, Logan, you guys had your big offensive output there in the third quarter. Uh, was, was that just uh, execution at that point or 
any sort of adjustments that you made to, to take advantage of their defense? Yeah, no, credit to them. They uh, kept pretty much held us in check for the first half. And uh, we, uh, Coach Tillman put an emphasis on coming out in the third quarter, like the first five minutes and making sure like we made like our statement, and w which we did. We came out firing and uh, credit to them in the first half. They really kept us in check. What did you see from um, on the offensive end when a lot of pressure has been being put on uh, Jared and the tension? Did you see uh, uh, open opportunities for yourself and others? No, yeah, we knew it was coming. That's Bucknell's DNA, just pressing out and like just making it hard for us. And uh, I mean, yeah, they were like kind of keen on Jared. I mean, every team will. Like, he's one of the best players in the country. And um, and then yeah, Curtis, uh, you know the the bulk, the heart of this team has always been the long poles, and. Uh, How'd you feel about your play today? It looked like you guys were all over it. And your newest defense guy, Bubba Fairman, he was pretty good on defense today. <clears throat> yeah, I think our defense played really well. You know, our scout team gave us a really good look the entire week. Um, you know, we had Nick DeMeo down there doing a great job, you know, giving us a lefty or righty look, whatever he would do. Um, I thought some of our new guys were doing really good down there. You know, they're really starting to pick it up. So we're, we're doing really well there. We're taking steps in the right direction. We just got to get better each day. Kurt, what kind of presence does uh does Danny provide? Oh, he's great. You know, he's he's life life for our defense. Uh, he's energetic all the time. You know, he's making saves. He's telling us what we gotta do. You know, if the goal is scored on us, we bring it right in. He's he's telling us what we gotta do. He's he really understands what we gotta do as a defense. So he's he's a really good addition to have in there. Um, you know, and I just look forward to playing with him the rest of the year. Well, what's the difference um, now as a defenseman with the twenty second clear and your role in you know clearing the ball? Uh, I think it's uh, not, not that big of a, not that big of an um, adjustment. Um, you know, we, we just we gotta get it out fast. You know, Buck now they got a really good ride. You know, they they're known for riding really well. Um, and they put pressure on us down there pretty um, pretty fast. So they're they're really athletic. You know, we just had to find our looks, hit the open guys, and then we were able to clear the ball pretty well. Coaches, the theory of Buckdale does the ten man ride, but you think you're going to see a lot of it this year because of the clock. To reduce the time on offense? I think it's funny. I think you'll see a really deep ride or a really aggressive ride. Um, so, like, you know, like pressing down to forecheck you so that the ball stays down there, or really condensing the middle of the field so it's hard to find somebody to, to play off that 20 second clock. So, we, um, we, we tried to put in some simple things this week because Bucknell. They will, they'll, they'll either, they'll kind of mimic the 10 man. Sometimes they're in a nine and a half, meaning they'll kind of step out the goalie, uh, but not that far. So it's really not a 10 man because in a 10 man, the goal's open. So he'll kind of step out and then get back in. So you can't really shoot it there. Um, and then other times they'll, they'll just kind of press down and they'll yell and it almost, you get that sense that the 10 man's coming. So um, the guys did a really good job with it. Um, the first one was a, a little bit dicey. <laughs> But uh, we got it from there, so um, the guys did a good job with it. The hope was if we could win today with all the things they did, I really thought the preparation for this game would really help us. We got multiple rides that we had to go against. Um, they ran some zone. We saw a couple different zones. They run a very complicated defense. So to prepare for all that, we hope that maybe that being under our belt would be helpful going forward, especially with these young guys. Are you going to have your goalies taking shooting practice now? Um, listen, we, we stayed after uh, last night and all the guys were shooting, and um, that's something that we believe in. If people want to be aggressive, that's going to be there. Um, but I think, listen, some guys I thought that did a really good job today. I thought, you know, Justin Shockey was good in the second half. The faceoffs got better. West Janik and our wing guys were great. And I think our, our, our transfer guys, <coughs> Caramonte and Alex Smith, were terrific today. You know, just really helped us. So. Um, you know, some of those new guys, and um, even Russ Massey and Kyle Bricker were, were great. Sean, what was the One key more? to the face-off game to be more effective in the second half? Uh, we made a switch. Justin got more in the second half, and I thought we were, we were fine in the first half. I think we were about 50%. Um, and Tyler Barbridge does such a good job with those guys all week. Um, and, you know, some of the guys, like, we, we try to give them different, different looks. We have four guys down there, that pog pen group. Um, and I think Ty just giving him some of those looks are helpful. Uh, it was unique. Um, we decided to go with Austin, um, but really the, the battle was there are two guys from Landon. Uh, Jared Witzel is a senior who went to Landon, and Justin Shockey was a sophomore when, when Jared was a senior. So they knew each other pretty well. Um, so 
we didn't know how that would go. Um, you know, you got a guy who's a couple years older that might, you know, obviously have a little something to prove. Um, but then you got obviously a younger guy who's technically pretty good. Um, so I thought all in all, Justin made some good decisions. Our wing play was pretty good. Uh, we just got to clean up our turnovers. I think we had a ton of turnovers today. So if we can get better at that, which at this time of the year, you hope that we can improve upon. But the kids will stay focused. They've been a good group so far. That's good. John, just the uh, first verdict of the shot clock and rod play today. Um, I think you guys had three violations, a couple of seemed purposeful towards the Yeah, game. absolutely. Um, just first first impressions of, of that. Um, we've been fine with it all year. We, we kind of felt like um, the, the shot clock really hasn't impacted us. It impacted us, us a, impacted us a little more today just because Bucknell slides and recovers so much that like they don't let you get to the goal on that first dodge um so you're constantly moving 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 and like we could win matchups like and get some leverage but they kept sending a guy which means you got to move it and then they do such a good job of recovering that if you don't move it really fast all of a sudden you got to generate leverage again so um that forced us to really stick work the ball and if you have a bad stick work um, situation you drop it now you got to reset it again so um, it's been great, um, you know, with us, we really, we, we've been working on it since um, August with, with clocks and practice and things like that. Um, I think that the kids did a great job today with some short time situations, um, like Logan's goal, like where, all right, it was getting late, we got organized, and, and they you know, obviously made something happen instead of just chucking it to the corner. And you're right, there are a couple times late where we were like, listen, if we can kill 80 seconds up five goals, at this point, we'll probably do that. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys.